It's time for us to up the tempo, but look at the amount of defenses we've got to go through. But Jamie Vardy has done exactly that. Vardy party begins almost immediately after he's been brought on. I'm taking this one with James Madison. What a position to be taking a free kick from. Can Madison convert this? It's in! James Madison with a stunning free kick against Brighton. And finally... So hey guys, how's it going? It is S2G and welcome back to another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode series. Today's episode is massive because we've got a huge transfer decision to make. And not just that, we're going to be once again getting through four games in this episode, including this massive Premier League game at the Etihad Stadium against Manchester City. Our form's been a little dodgy in the last few episodes, and because of that, we're now ninth in the Premier League. I'm hoping in this episode, we can push further up the league table. A lot's going to go down in today's episode, and if you guys are enjoying the series and want to see more episodes, make sure to show your support by dropping a like in the video. Let's smash our 2,000 likes. That would be awesome if you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 career mode content. Straight away hopping into a press conference and as always if you guys want to get involved make sure to drop in your questions down in the comment section below. First question of the day, Vardy will need replacing within a season or two, who do you think will be the best replacement? So I'm sure in the last episode you would have seen Jamie Vardy's stats go down, he's already dropped by one overall and although he's scoring a lot of goals for us this season, next season I don't think he'll be good enough to be our first choice striker and that means we need to look for a replacement. And honestly, I think I found the man I want to bring in. It's Timo Werner from RB Leipzig. You guys already know how good he is in FIFA. He's super quick as well. And I think he's very similar to Jamie Vardy in a lot of aspects. And the best part, his contract is expiring. So we can actually sign him for pretty much nothing in the January transfer window. And next season, we'll have Timo Werner in our team. So... I think this is something we've got to do in this series. Imagine having Werner next season in the Premier League. That would be huge for the series. So, I'm going to leave this up to you guys. Should we sign Werner on a pre-contract? Let me know by clicking the i button and voting. This is going to be your decision. If you guys want this transfer to happen for next season, let me know. But honestly, I feel like this is something we've got to make because... I think next season he's going to have a huge impact for us if we pull this off. Next question, how do you feel about your current position in the league right now? I've got to be honest guys, I'm not too happy with it. I think we've dropped points in games that we should have won way too often and I'm hoping I can make changes. I've got to be stronger defensively because we cannot be dropping points mindlessly in games that you know we should be winning. So hopefully we can fix that in the future. I really want to try and finish at least top 7 this season. Next question, do you think that Mauricio Pochettino getting sacked was the right decision? So we've got a real life question here. So I think yesterday Mauricio Pochettino was sacked by Spurs and guess what Mourinho was hired by them. Honestly, I feel like it's very harsh for Pochettino to get sacked considering he led them to a Champions League final. Yes, they didn't win, but Spurs became a top three team in the Premier League under him and to sack him like that after like a few months of bad football, I think is really unfair. But also at the same time, I'm very eager to see what happens with Spurs right now. Is Harry Kane, Eriksen, all these guys going to stay at Spurs or are they going to leave? How is Mourinho going to get on with the team? What kind of football they're going to play in? Premier League is going to be very interesting with Mourinho back in action. So I'm definitely excited for that. But that's the press conference wrapped up. Let's move on. It had to be James Madison who wins the player of the episode award. He scored a free kick in the last episode, the first of this series. And apart from that, his general play from midfield has just been world class. And I'm really enjoying using him. And no wonder you guys voted for him as your player of the episode. I guess we're doing pretty well with our season goals as well. Jamie Vardy is on 12 goals already in the Prem. Let's hope he can keep this up. Apart from that, Madison and Thielemans already with 10 goals. So I'm hoping they as well can continue scoring. So we're doing well, I guess. Our first game in today's episode is a tricky one as we're facing Watford at the King Power Stadium. Now, we lost our last game to Everton, which was a painful defeat. But I'm hoping we can get back to winning ways in this one. It's Leicester City versus Watford at the King Power Stadium. We need to get back to winning ways. Now, we had a few fitness concerns for this one and that's why Madison isn't starting. But apart from that, I've gone with a very strong lineup that should be capable of getting the result against Watford. Vardy starts, we've got Ndidi, Tielemans, 
Harvey Barnes in the lineup. Twan Zibbe gets an opportunity as well. Kasper Schmeichel captains the team. A lot of people said that he deserved to win the player of the episode for the last one. And I guess he probably deserved to at least be nominated. But I'm sure if he keeps this form up, he's going to win the award at one point. But anyways, this is the team I'm using for this one against Watford. We need to get back to winning ways. Tielemans looks for Vardy. In behind to Ayose Perez. This could be a big chance here for the Spaniard. Ayose Perez 1v1. A powerful attempt from him. But... The Watford keeper does come up with a big save. Tielemans inside to Vardy now. Here goes Vardy with a few step overs. Does brilliantly. Still Jamie Vardy shoots and almost scores there. Foster again with a good save. Ayose Perez now inside to Jamie Vardy. Does brilliantly. Vardy 1v1 and he does not miss chances like that. Vardy's 13th Premier League goal of the season. He's just an unbelievable goal machine man. He's giving us such a good season, even though his stats are going down. You just got to love Jamie Vardy on FIFA 20. Iose Perez picking up the assist, but a really solid finish there. Near post finesse shot. And there you go. Leicester City take the lead against Watford. Good ball played in. It's a dangerous one, but straight to Kasper Schmeichel. Could have easily been 1-1. There again, our defense getting caught out. These are the kind of situations where we concede and drop points. We can't let that happen in this game. T elements. Looks for Ayose Perez, and Ayose Perez is having a really good game. Here he goes forward, still Ayose tries to cut this one back, and the shot's taken, but what's going on? It's chaos, but ultimately Watford get it away. Oh, here goes the elements, looks for Jamie Vardy, what a pass that is, Vardy 1v1, and he just cannot stop scoring. Jamie Vardy 2-0 against Watford, that's his 14th Premier League goal now. He does his classic mannequin celebration, you love to see that. And well, Leicester City lead 2-0 against Watford. Lovely time to score as well, just before that half-time whistle. What an assist though from Tielemans there. Left-footed finish as well from Vardy. Sees Harvey Barnes. Back inside to Ben Chilwell, who's in a very attacking position. Lays it off to Tielemans, who goes for goal. What a finish from the Belgian, who's also been scoring at a very consistent rate for us. Leicester City make it 3-0 against Watford. This is the kind of performances I want to see from my team. Yuri Tielemans with a fabulous goal as Leicester make it 3-0. I genuinely can't see, of course, Watford coming back into this game now because 3-0... It's really tough. Oh, here goes Dennis Pryat. Another chance for us to make it 4-0 potentially now. Here goes Dennis and he slides this one home. That's going to be huge for his confidence because we know he's been in and out of the team for the most part this season. But he gets himself a goal in the Premier League as Leicester make it 4-0. Is this going to be our biggest win of the season so far? It does look like it. I think Yuri Elements picked up the assist for this goal as well. He's having a brilliant season but we make it 4-0 against Watford. Jose Perez looks to slide this one for Jamie Vardy who is on a hat-trick. He brings it inside. Here goes Vardy. Jamie Vardy is broken through. Jamie Vardy on a hat-trick. No, that's off the crossbar. That is so unlucky. Imagine if that would have gone in a hat-trick for Jamie Vardy. His first in the series but uh, the crossbar denies him. And that is full time. What a result for us in this series to win 4-0 against Watford at home in the Prem. A solid result for our confidence and yeah, we've got to keep pushing forward. We cannot stop. So at the moment, Jamie Vardy is leading the race for the Premier League Golden Boot. He scored 14 times so far in 15 games, two more than Sadio Mane. He might just be able to win the Golden Boot award. How crazy would that be? Also for now, we're fifth in the Premier League. Of course, it's because we've played a few games more than the other teams, but it's still a nice moment to enjoy. We've got to keep winning though. We've got Aston Villa next in the Premier League and we actually do have after that Norwich. So I think these two games are definitely winnable and I would love to get six points out of these two. Dennis Bright is in good form. Will we see more of him? Unfortunately, not in this upcoming game. Madison is going to resume his place back in the team. We're already in December now. It's basically been, what, four or five months of scouting and Timu is yet to bring us even one quality English player, which is extremely frustrating. What do you guys think we should do? Should we hire another scout? Or maybe just send Timu to another country to next scout because English talents just aren't coming by and it's getting a bit frustrating to wait to get a proper good youngster in our academy. I've made a few changes to our team for this one against Aston Villa. Chukweze is back in the lineup. Demira Gray as well. Madison is in the team giving Benkovic an opportunity as well at the back. This is our team. We need to continue winning in the Premier League. So let's go out there and beat Aston Villa. The last time we took a free kick, James Madison actually scored that. So let's try it again and see if this time he can convert. Go on, Madison. I've timed it well, but this one was just wide. Vardy looks to get in behind. Does so brilliantly. Oh, Vardy again with the touch. But Aston Villa somehow still survive. 
But it's been a tough game, man. Villa defending well, and they're actually creating a few chances here and there, so we've got to be careful. We can't be dropping points in this one. Jamie Vardy sees Tielemans back into Vardy. Vardy takes a good touch. Still Jamie Vardy. It's unbelievable from Vardy, but the finish. Everything was perfect apart from the finish. I honestly still can't believe he missed that. As Madison picks up a yellow for a prior foul, I guess. But how did Jamie Vardy convert that, though? Indeed, he looks for Vardy. Vardy cleverly done to find Madison. Madison could be scoring here. Madison does not miss chances like that with his weaker left foot as well. James Madison, who's been on a fantastic run of form, scores yet again for us in the Premier League as we make it 1-0 against Aston Villa. This time, Jamie Vardy turning provider, linking up beautifully there with his English teammate. Madison then pushes forward with pace and then slots it home with his left foot. 1-0 elasticity. Oh no, this Trezeguet guy could be through on goal. Ricardo Pereira is chasing him. That's a good ball played back by Johnny Evans with a crucial interception there. Chukweze releases to Ricardo Pereira, now Yuri Tielemans. Tielemans back into Chukweze, Chukweze with a few step over, still Chukweze, still Chukweze shoots, but it's a big save from Heaton. Now Demira Gray, now it's Ben Chilwell who's looking to push forward, here goes Chilwell with pace, still Ben Chilwell, squares this one inside, but ultimately Willa do get it away, I thought that was going to be Vardy's another goal for him, I think 15th. A ball played inside, it's a chance for Aston Villa to equalise and we somehow survived that. I genuinely thought we were going to concede there but we got lucky. Kasper Schmeichel man, what a save. Aston Villa definitely looking extremely dangerous now as they might actually have a chance here. It's terrible defending from us but ultimately Johnny Evans comes up clutch with the block. It's a corner in basically the 89th minute. I don't want to concede, I just don't want to concede, it's going to happen, no way man. I just, oh, come on. This is so frustrating to concede in the 89th minute like this through a corner. Like, this is completely undeserved. So frustrating, man. Like, I don't even know who to blame for this goal because it's a corner and you, you really don't control much when this kind of stuff happens. Extremely frustrating. Full time and this is, this is probably one of the most frustrating results we've had because we dominated Aston Villa from the first minute. Yes, they had a few chances here and there, but... I thought we were the far better team and to concede in that manner in the 90th minute. A hard fought contest, what was your take? I'm just going to say we should have won because I feel like we should. It's such a tough defeat to take. I mean, it's not even a defeat, it's a draw, but it definitely feels like a defeat. But I'm hoping we can bounce back in our next game. Well, with that draw, we are now 7th in the Premier League, which isn't all that bad. But of course, we've played a game more than quite a few teams. So up next, it's Norwich City. And they aren't doing that well in the Premier League. They are 14th, but I do know they've got some decent players here and there. So this is again going to be a challenge. We can't afford to drop points against them like we did against Aston Villa. Leicester versus Norwich. We're playing at home in front of our own fans. We need three points from this game. We've got Jamie Vardy up top. We've got the elements, Madison all starting. Soyunku and Tuan Zubi playing together. And by the way, Soyunku has now hit an 80 overall, which is perfect. This is our team. Let's go out there and pick up all three points. Oh man, this is so frustrating because the footage got corrupted of that game against Norwich. So I can't show you guys the gameplay. I did beat them 3-1 and we did have Jamie Vardy and Iose Perez actually scored two brilliant goals. But so unfortunate that I can't show you guys the gameplay. Oh man, this happens sometimes. Recording software does mess up occasionally. Hopefully this won't happen again. But yeah, it's frustrating. But the good thing is... We do pick up a good 3-1 win against Norwich, which should warm us up for the big game against Man City at the Etihad. So we are now 6th in the Premier League after that win against Norwich City and we've got a pretty big game against Man City at the Etihad Stadium. If somehow we can get ourselves a win against them, we could be pushing towards the top 5. I know it's unlikely because Arsenal are still 3 points ahead of us, but a win here would be a massive statement in the Premier League and would also help us with one of our objectives. It's Man City versus Leicester. This is going to be one of our most difficult games of the series. Also, Ayose Perez was so good in that last game. I wish I could show you guys the gameplay. He scored one fantastic goal where we crossed it in. He made a deep run from that right flank and then just volleyed it home. That was one of the best goals I think we've scored this season, but it is so frustrating that I can't show you guys that. But anyways, 3-1 against Norwich. Just wanted to show you guys a bit of player growth stuff and look at this man. So Yunku has already gone up by 3 ratings this season. 
His stats are going up massively. Look at that boost in strength, 83 from 79. Sprint speed going up as well. It deceptions up to 79. And in general, his stats are going up rapidly, which is great to see. We've got Ben Chilwell, who's gone up by two as well. Harvey Barnes gone up by two. James Justin, who we've loaned out, he's growing as well in his overall. Chukwese up by two. The elements, Madison all growing. And it's, of course, brilliant to see. Any downgrades apart from uh, Jamie Vardy? Well, 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 a lot of downgrades. Christian Fuchs, Jakupovic, Jamie Vardy, all of them going down in their overalls. Take a look at this. Player contracts expiring soon. We've got Christian Fuchs, Mendy and Jakupovic. Now, I don't really want to renew the likes of Jakupovic and all, but Nampalis Mendy, that guy could have some sort of a value, so it kind of makes sense renewing his contract. We've barely used him this season, but I'd rather not let him go for free. I'd rather renew his contract, so let's do that. This is what I'm offering Mendy, a 200,000 signing bonus, 50 grand in wages, a 3-year contract length and sporadic squad row. Let's see if he accepts this offer, and he does. Maybe I overpaid for him, but anyways, he's re-signed with Leicester City. It is indeed time for the big one. Leicester City versus Manchester City as we play them away in the Premier League. A big challenge for us playing Pep Guardiola City. We know how efficient they are. They're top of the Premier League for a reason, which means we know they're going to be up for it. But we're going to give it our all and just hope for the best. I'm going with a pretty strong lineup. I guess a very similar lineup to what I went with against Norwich. But I've got Johnny Evans for the experience back in the team. Ayose Perez retains his place down the right after his brilliant game against Norwich. We've got Vardy starting up front. Madison T. Elements, of course, in the lineup. Let's go out there and get a result against Man City. So that's the Man City team we're facing and I'm not surprised at all. It's an incredible lineup. They've got Aguero, Sterling, Bernardo Silva all starting, Angelino in their lineup, Laporte, Rodri. A very strong City side. We've got to expect them to go with a strong team. But let's do our best and just see what we can get out of this game. We're at the Etihad Stadium for the first time in this series facing Man City who are the Premier League league leaders at the moment. So we know they're going to give us an incredibly tough game but we've got to give it our all. It's Pep Guardiola City that we're facing. Let's see what we can get out of this game. Raheem Sterling looks for Kevin De Bruyne. Still Kevin De Bruyne chips this one in. Schmeichel punches it away but City showing intent in these first 10 minutes itself. Although we might be able to counter-attack Leicester City with Harvey Barnes pushing forward. Harvey looks to bring it inside. Does it brilliantly as well. Still Harvey Barnes looks to try and curl it and he's done it. Harvey Barnes with an absolutely ridiculous goal against Manchester City. That is contender for goal of the season. Harvey Barnes, oh my days, what a strike. And it's not just the finish, the way he got into that position. Look at that touch to turn it inside and then took it wide once again. And then bang, a top bins from Harvey Barnes. One of the best goals we've scored so far in this series. Have a look at this replay. Oh, that is sensational. Jamie Vardy ducking as well to get out of the way. And Harvey Barnes has somehow put us into the lead against Manchester City with a stunner. Of course, we're going to see City respond. Now it's Rodri. Looking to find a pass forward, he somehow gets past Madison there, but he recovers brilliantly. We've got to defend like our lives depend on it because Man City are going to relentlessly attack and we need to be ready for everything. Man City again proving to be relentless as they're looking to bring it inside. Here's Raheem Sterling who goes for goal, Kasper Schmeichel with a brilliant save. Vardy looks for Harvey Barnes as we're on the attack once again. Harvey Barnes gets past one, gets taken down, is that inside the box? Or oh, is it not? I'm confused, but Jao Cancelo is definitely going to get booked for that. It's a yellow card, but it, I think it's a free kick from outside the box. It is a free kick, but you know what? I'm going for it. Let's see if we can try and maybe curl this in. Go on, Madison. Madison, oh, it's above the crossbar. Fernandinho inside to Kevin De Bruyne. Back to Fernandinho who shoots, but Kasper Schmeichel is alert to it. And a good save again from the Danishman. We could be hitting Man City on the counter-attack here with Jamie Vardy. He's 1v1. Vardy shoots and the keeper does not even move. That is Jamie Vardy at his absolute best. We were literally getting attacked from everywhere by Man City after we scored that first goal. But we responded on the counter-attack with Jamie Vardy breaking through the City defence using his pace. And then slotting this one home. I think Tielemans picked up the assist for this goal. But it's Leicester City somehow 2-0 at halftime against Man City. Incredible. Halftime against Man City and somehow we're leading 2-0. I mean, I've got to say, it's a bit undeserved, the current situation. Because I think City have played really well. They've attacked us a lot. But this man, Kasper Schmeichel, has made some crazy good saves. And we've literally hit them on the counter-attack and we've scored twice. Let's hope we can hold on to this lead in the second half. 
Here goes Madison once again. Leicester City on the counter, hitting at Man City. Go on, Madison. He's got the pace. Releases it for Vardy. Oh, he couldn't uh, get it under control, but I think Vardy was offside anyways. Maybe I should have just gone for the shot. Madison looks for Vardy. Now Ayose Perez, who's made a run inside, releases it to Tielemans. Here goes Tielemans now. Still Tielemans. Crossing this one for Jamie Vardy. It could be 3-0. It is 3-0. Jamie Vardy on the volley, converting. And we've made it 3-0 against Man City. I have absolutely no idea how we're in this situation because Man City have kept all the possession, but every time we counter, we've created danger. And see elements, look at, look at this for an assist. How good is this for a pass? And credit to Vardy as well with his weaker left foot to convert. This could prove to be our best result of the series so far if we can hold on. We're leading 3-0, so it's looking likely. Unreal scenes as Leicester City lead 3-0 against the Premier League league leaders at the moment. Well, this is not good. Bernardo Silva looks to try and get City back into this game still. Bernardo Silva, Chilwell's chasing him, but he's been pretty quick. Now it's Kevin De Bruyne who shoots, and well, there's no stopping De Bruyne when he's in that kind of form. Man City get one goal back with a fabulous effort from KDB. Rodri, inside to David Silva, no way are we conceding. Kasper Schmeichel, oh my days. How good is he? Some people actually want me to replace him, but how do we replace him when he's making saves like this? Unbelievable from the Danishman. That's that for this one, guys. We've beaten Manchester City at the Etihad Stadium. We've gotten three points against Pep Guardiola's team. How crazy is that? It clearly shows we're making big progress and taking big strides with Leicester City in this series. This win could prove to be crucial come end of season. What a win against Man City at the Etihad Stadium. And because of that, we are now sixth in the Premier League after 18 games, which is amazing to see. Wolves are giving us tough competition, though they're in seventh place. Arsenal are, of course, in fifth place with 36 points. But we're doing well, man. We're doing really well now. Jamie Vardy competing really hard with Sadio Mane for the Golden Boot Award. Both at the moment have got 17 goals in 18 games. Next episode is about to be insane. First of all, we've got Liverpool at home at the King Power Stadium. And it's the Christmas period, so games coming in thick and fast. West Ham away. And then we've got Newcastle as well. And apart from that, the transfer window opens in the next episode. So you guys could be seeing some business be conducted, especially Timo Werner. It depends on what you guys want because I want to try and close that transfer as soon as possible. So let me know in the comment section and as well as by voting. Do you guys want to see Timo Werner next season at Leicester City? It's up to you guys to decide. It is another fantastic episode for our season goals as Jamie Vardy is now on 17 goals in the Premier League already. I guess we made it too easy for us because he's going to crush 25 goals without any problem. We also beat another top six club in Man City. We're now on two for the Giant Killers objective, which is great. Elements and Madison are now on 12 goals. So this was a pretty good episode for our season objectives. Before we wrap up today's one, it is time for you guys to make your vote count for the player of the episode award. A couple of nominees once again. And how could I not include Jamie Vardy in the nominations? He scored five goals in the Prem in today's episode over four games and he's showing no signs of stopping. And he scored a brace against Man City as well and that's why he's been nominated. Your second nominee is going to be Yuri Tielemans. Another brilliant episode from him in our midfield. Dominates game like no one else. And apart from that, a couple of assists as well, I think, against Man City. And he keeps on performing, so he had to be nominated. Click the I button on the top right of your screen to vote for either of them. So that's that for another episode of the Leicester City Career Mode series. Really hope you guys are enjoying this series. Next episode, transfer window hype. It's going to be a ton of fun. Signings potentially and all that sort of good stuff. So if you guys are enjoying this series, let's keep the support coming in. 2,000 likes would be brilliant. If you are new around here, subscribe for more FIFA 20 Career Mode content. And I'll catch you guys next time.